Since Back to the Future is a much-loved trilogy, it's no surprise that there are occasional rumors about a fourth movie. The original film introduced Marty McFly and the time-traveling DeLorean, leading to two successful sequels. The story of Marty and Doc Brown appeared to conclude satisfyingly. However, in Hollywood, things are never really over, and rumors about Back to the Future 4 have been circulating for a while. Opinions about a fourth installment vary, with some fans concerned about potentially ruining the legacy of the beloved trilogy. On the other hand, there are those who would be excited to revisit the franchise after all these years. While there have been hints of the franchise making a comeback, these rumors often don't materialize into anything real. Yet considering the current trend of revisiting nostalgic movies in Hollywood, it might be a good time to start paying attention to any genuine Back to the Future 4 news. Bob Gale, co-writer of the beloved Back to the Future trilogy, recently shared his candid thoughts on the possibility of Back to the Future 4. The original trilogy, spanning from 1985 to 1990, followed the time-traveling escapades of high school student Marty McFly, played by Michael J. Fox, and the eccentric scientist Doc Brown, played by Christopher Lloyd, who invents the iconic DeLorean time machine. While the sequels may not have received the same acclaim as the original, the trilogy has amassed a dedicated fan base that has kept hope alive for a fourth film. In a recent interview with Variety at the benefit performance of Back to the Future, the musical for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's research, Gale addressed the persistent question of whether Back to the Future 4 will ever happen. Gale acknowledges that the desire for a fourth film is fueled by the love for the original trilogy and the yearning for a nostalgic experience, sentiments he believes are effectively captured by the musical. Consequently, Gale sees no necessity for another sequel, expressing a sentiment that the characters in Back to the Future are like family to him and you don't sell your kids into prostitution. The notion of Back to the Future 4 has been a subject of speculation and debate among fans for years. The original trilogy known for its iconic characters, memorable dialogue, and innovative time travel plot has left an indelible mark on popular culture. The hope for a fourth installment often arises from the desire to recapture the magic and joy that the original film brought to audiences. Gale's response to the prospect of Back to the Future 4 is rooted in a deep understanding of the emotional connection fans have with the franchise. The idea of revisiting the well for another sequel is viewed as unnecessary, considering the potential risk of diluting the legacy and impact of the original trilogy. Gale emphasizes that the musical serves as a platform to deliver the nostalgic experience fans crave, offering a unique way to immerse themselves in the world of Back to the Future. The co-creator's analogy of the characters in Back to the Future being like family reinforces the personal and emotional investment he has in the franchise. This sentiment reflects the protective stance Gale takes, as if safeguarding the legacy of the characters from any potential exploitation or dilution through unnecessary sequels. The comparison to not selling one's kids into prostitution conveys the gravity of his commitment to preserving the integrity of the Back to the Future legacy. Gale's response is a reminder of the delicate balance between meeting fan expectations and respecting the artistic and emotional journey that the original trilogy represented. While the possibility of a fourth installment may remain a topic of speculation, Gale's candid remarks offer valuable insights into the complex considerations that go into deciding the fate of a cherished franchise. The idea of Back to the Future 4 has been a topic of discussion but there are compelling reasons why it shouldn't happen. Back to the Future is a classic example of a beloved movie that didn't necessarily need a sequel, but due to its box office success, it led to the creation of two sequels. Although these sequels, filmed back to back, may have been considered inferior to the original, they contributed to forming a serviceable trilogy. The conclusion in Back to the Future 3, with Doc Brown staying in 1885 with his newfound love Clara, while Marty reunites with Jennifer in 1985, provided a bittersweet but satisfying ending. Bob Gale, co-creator of Back to the Future, has expressed his deep care for the characters and contentment with the ending they received. 
In a landscape where many classic movies are undergoing reboots, revivals, or legacy sequels, Gale's satisfaction with the original ending and protective stance on the property resonate as refreshing. The retirement of Michael J. Fox from acting due to Parkinson's disease adds another layer of complexity as it's nearly impossible to envision Back to the Future 4 without Fox reprising his role as Marty McFly. Gale's sentiments align with a genuine concern for the integrity of the characters and the narrative, emphasizing that revisiting the well too many times risks diluting the impact and legacy of the original trilogy. The co-creator's approach stands in contrast to the current trend in Hollywood, where many classic franchises are being revived or extended for new audiences. Instead, Gale remains content with the existing conclusion and protective of the property that holds a special place in the hearts of many. Despite the desire for more content, especially in an era of reboots and sequels, Back to the Future has expanded into a successful multimedia franchise. This includes Back to the Future the Musical, featuring a book written by Gale. For those seeking additional experiences within the Back to the Future universe, the stage musical, set to open on Broadway, becomes an alternative avenue. On screen, however, Gale suggests that the legacy of Back to the Future is better left as a trilogy, preserving the original magic and narrative in their intended form. Tom Holland's dynamic acting could bring a youthful energy to the role, capturing the essence of a young inventor with grand ambitions and unexplored challenges. The prequel could showcase the first interactions between Doc Brown and Marty's parents, George and Lorraine McFly, establishing the connections that would later become crucial in the original trilogy. This could add layers to the relationships within the Back to the Future universe and provide a richer understanding of the characters' dynamics. Exploring the prequel route also allows for the incorporation of cutting-edge special effects and technology to recreate the iconic time-traveling sequences with a fresh perspective. Tom Holland's widespread appeal, especially among younger audiences, could attract a new generation of fans to the timeless franchise. However, the prequel would need to carefully navigate the challenges of maintaining continuity with the original trilogy. Attention to detail and a dedicated effort to align the prequel's narrative with the established Back to the Future lore would be essential to ensuring a seamless connection between the two timelines. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.